We recommend that as a consumer, you exercise your due diligence and research all strategies recommended to you before adopting them in your own business. Please review our full disclaimer video and documents prior to viewing this video. Work requests entered by employees into MPAC. The approver should have processed them within 24 to 48 hours of submission. If you have an approver role, you must open MPAC every day to ensure that the work requests or requisitions waiting for your approval are being either approved or rejected. Failure to do so will interrupt the flow of information or delay work needed by others in order for them to do their jobs. There are different ways to check what is waiting your approval, but first you need to open the MPAC program. Then on the navigator page expand your name and then expand the pending approvals. If there are work requests or requisitions waiting your approval you will see them here. Select the work request or requisition that you want to open, then right-click on it to open, a pop-up window will open select the open from the list. An alternate way to check if there is work requests waiting for approval is to open the planning workbench. You can open the planning workbench by selecting the planning workbench icon, located on the top toolbar. An alternate way to open the planning workbench is by selecting modules on the top menu, then select work management from the drop-down list. Then select the planning workbench from the list. The planning workbench will open. Next, select the work request tab on the planning workbench. In the filter field, located at the top of the planning workbench window, select the filter that meets your requirements by using the drop-down list. Note, you can make custom workbench filters to retrieve work orders, work requests or assets PM's data for what you require. MPAC will return all the open work requests according to the filter's criteria. Select the work request from the list, highlighted in blue, that you wish to evaluate for approval or rejection by double-clicking on the request line to open it. Note the work request status must be waiting for approval in order to progress it to approved. The status code is AN. After opening the work request that you wish to approve or reject, you need to evaluate and validate the information that it contains. Is the problem description understandable? Is the work being charged to the correct asset? Are the priority and shutdown codes correct? The information that the work request is containing is what people are using to base their decisions of how quickly the work will be done and how critical is the work to the operation. The approver can progress the work request status without having to open it. The approver can either select the work request from the list, or they can double-click the work request to open it. Progressing the work request status is done the same way for both. Do this by selecting Services, located on the top menu, then select the Progress status from the list. The Progress status window will open. Select from the list the status you want to progress the work request to. If you are the approver your choices are 1. Approved by 2. Cancelled by 3. Rejected by 4. Transferred to If you are not the approver your choices are 1. Rejected by 2. Cancelled by Note, if the approver rejects the work request they should send an email to originator as to why it was rejected. The approved work requests are converted into work orders by the planner. Converting of work requests into work orders is covered under the Creating Routine Work Order video. This brings us to the end of the work request approval. Thank you for watching. If you liked our videos, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up.